Hello, everyone. Randy here again, and we are playing Farming Simulator 15 on Jellyton. Jellyton Extended. And I am actually riding along with... Uh, who actually, oh, the real Gibbon. I am riding along with the real Gibbon at the moment. We're on the R.D. Allen multiplayer server, joined by the real Gibbon and Harvey, I believe it is at the moment. So... Yes. Had to double check there a minute, make sure I had the names right. And we are in the Massey Ferguson. I'm not sure what number this is, actually. Ah, 5712, it says. And uh, looks like uh, Gibbon here is demonstrating some very pro loader skills. Anyway, I guess I better get out and do some work. Well, that uh, kind of put me in the ground. Okay, let's see what's here. Working on doing some more mowing and tethering and bailing, I've been told, so. Let's uh, get this fired up here. Uh, we do have a couple of new pieces of equipment on the farm, namely a John Deere 7810, the uh, Massey Ferguson you already saw, and of course a bigger tether, bigger mower. Okay, and I see the front linkage is not folded out, so okay. I see. Yes, let's try that. Ah, uh, both on there. Okay. Uh, let's see what's here. Where is the biogas plant? Oh, right next to it. Okay. We'll just uh, finish the uh, going around here. Anyway, like I said, we are on Chellington Extended. I believe I mentioned this on last episode there on the Northeast Iowa map, and I mentioned it on my previous episode on American Truck Simulator as well. Having some uh, difficulties there with the Northeast Iowa map, or at least some people were anyway, due to frame rates. So we decided to uh, switch to a different map. And like I mentioned, I went with the uh, runner-up, and the runner-up was the Chellington map here. Okay, let's uh, shut that off. was disconnect. I meant to raise it up. There we go. Okay. Uh, mower's at the biogas plant. Okay, that should be fun. Yes, yeah, so there's like a little uh, sneaky way around the back side of the biogas plant here. Always gotta like drive way around, I guess, so... Uh, let's see, through the trees here somewhere. Somewhat to my surprise, you can actually drive through those trees there. Let's uh, fold that up a minute here. Okay, there we go.
Okay, now we can do some uh, serious mowing here. Hopefully, anyway. Let's actually uh, provide a really good contrast here. I've got another video recorded of me mowing this field, which is the uh, small Classics Pack tractor and mower. I was planning on doing a high speed with it. I have not uh, got it done up yet, but uh, if I get a chance, maybe I'll uh, get it done up and try to upload it along with this video here. And we can have a little, uh, yeah, comparison and mowing here using the uh, Classics tractor and mower versus the 7810 here with uh, dual mowers. Anyway, folks may notice the money. I've got a minus $1.1 million. Uh, apparently we had some money glitch going on on the server or something. Something's not quite right, so got to uh, figure that out. Hopped on uh, TeamSpeak with the other guys that are mowing up. Before I started recording, they uh, kind of explained what happened. So it sounds like somebody else is sitting on the money. So I just got to figure out who's sitting on it and uh, take it from them. And then uh, get my number at least <laughs> closer to zero. Uh, preferably in the positive, but at least closer to zero would be good. Anyway, so far, I'm uh, really, really enjoying the uh, Chelentine map here. Uh, for those of you who have not seen this map before, very, very nicely done map. Uh, compared to uh, Northeast Iowa, way better. Like I said, it's too bad. I don't know if somebody did a conversion and then edited the map. Kind of didn't do such a great job. And keep in mind, uh, it did say the map was beta, so that, I'm sure, has something to do with it as well. That doesn't help, but... But still, whoever uh, did that map definitely uh, did not do it justice compared from the uh, 2013 to the 15 version of that map, unfortunately. Uh, like I said, uh, Northeast Iowa, a very simple map. Uh, at least in my opinion, a very nicely done map in 2013. Uh, definitely had some glitches in 2013 as well, but definitely not near as bad as what 15 had. Plus, uh, for some reason, 15, like I said, the main reason... You know, myself at least, I could put up with the rest of the glitches. Didn't really bother me that much. But uh, a lot of people were complaining about frame rate lag. Uh, even myself on my computer, I was only getting anywhere from uh, 20 to uh, 40 frames. So, and I uh, run a GTX 980 video card. So. Okay, definitely don't think it's going to take as long to mow this field as it did with the uh, little classics mower that I was using. And it looks like I'm missing little bits and pieces here. Oh, well. This uh, map doesn't uh, strike me as lending itself well to a GPS mod. Lots of odd shaped sized fields. Now, if I go over this again, well, not, yeah, okay. I don't think it's untetting it there. It looks like it is. It's actually, I think, just mowing more grass under there, maybe. Possible, maybe it is untetting. I don't believe it's supposed to, but I guess it's possible. Oh, you can even see a plane flying up there in the uh, kind of the top left of the screen there. 
Uh, Mod-wise for the server, we did add a couple of new mods. Uh, namely, you actually folks seen the first one there. Uh, the Massey Ferguson pack added that in. Added in a couple other mods as well. Uh, some forestry mods. Uh, this map does have some forestry on it, so... Previously, I did not have any forestry mods on because the Northeast Iowa map seemed to be lacking that. So I figured no sense having forestry mods on if there's no forestry. But uh, seeing as how this map does have forestry, I do have some forestry mods on. A couple of the, uh, what I thought were good ones from the uh, forestry series we did. Uh, a couple of the FDR pieces of equipment. I think I did add in the modded Ponzi Scorpion. Unfortunately, I kind of ran out of room on the server, so I didn't actually, or wasn't able to actually add in all the mods I wanted to. I actually had to delete out, I think, uh, about a dozen or so. And unfortunately, yes, the forestry mods kind of made over the top of the list on the uh, cuts, so. I'm assuming with the fact that Harvey there is tedding this grass, the plan must be to bail it, I'm assuming. Uh, like we seen when we first started the video there, we had the uh, real Gibbon there was loading up some bales. Doing a uh, right proper job of it, I would say. And I did get a comment from someone asking, is this going to be multiplayer? Yes, this is absolutely multiplayer here on the Chellington Extended map. Uh, the Northeast Iowa map is multiplayer as well. Uh, playing on the RDL, or what I call the RDL multiplayer server. Basically just a dedicated server. Uh, which, by the way, does bring up a uh, comment here. Uh, there does seem to be some uh, confusion about that. Uh, this is a dedicated server that should be online 24-7. It doesn't, uh, doesn't require me to be online or anything like that. It, unless, of course, it crashes, it should be running 24-7. So you folks can hop on anytime you want. Okay, get a couple of pieces we missed here, and then we'll see what's uh, was it field 19 as well. I have to remember uh, the tractor here when you're selecting through stuff, it is selectable as well. Okay, field 19, I guess. Uh, I gotta find where that is. Field 19. Oh, opposite side. Okay. Not too far away. And like I was saying about the multiplayer, everybody's welcome to join. At least if you uh, play nicely anyway. And the uh, download links for the mods are in the description below. It, uh, you can either use the download all link. Or if you folks think you maybe have some of the mods, you're welcome to use the uh, you know download a single mod link there. That'll take you to the download page where you can download the mods individually. Uh, this is apparently the biogas plant here. Seems like a rather small biogas plant. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. Uh, one thing you'll definitely very quickly notice about this map is a nice level of detail on it. I 
and I would definitely have to say a very uh, European feeling map. I haven't actually taken the time to look and see what's, uh, if this is actually based on an actual European place or not, but... Okay, let's uh, turn this back on, get everything folded back out. Okay, I do believe I'm ready to rock and roll again. Uh, you'll definitely notice all the uh, fences and hedgerows along all the fields. Like I say, that's uh, what kind of gives it away to me as being a European map. Oh, looks like we got a train. Looks like it's just sitting there. Uh, there is a train that actually goes back and forth on these tracks, by the way. Also, uh, one thing with a multiplayer server, if you folks are joining it, uh, we do ask that you please uh, join TeamSpeak with us. Uh, it just makes it easier for us to uh, communicate with everything that's going on. Uh, which reminds me, with TeamSpeak, I get a lot of questions. Uh, what is TeamSpeak? Uh, for you folks that have never heard of TeamSpeak before, uh, if you've heard of Skype, it is very similar to that, just better. Basically, uh, TeamSpeak is, oh, how to put this here, is basically this Skype in the gaming world, I guess you could say. It looks like uh, Harvey's keeping right up with me. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, that tether actually must be the perfect width here for the uh, dual mower setup. Pretty cool. Also, I've been told this is a 4x map, so four times larger than a normal map, which I would say is probably perfect for a multiplayer server, it seems like. Uh, you get the normal size map, seems like they're, I don't know if small is the right word, but they uh, they don't last long. Whereas the uh, 4x map there, you get a little more fields, a little bit bigger fields. Just in my opinion, works a little better on a multiplayer server, especially if you got a couple people on. Don't know why I'm missing pieces there. I'm going over them quite. Uh... Yeah, the mower's clearly going over those pieces there. Shouldn't be mo uh, missing them. Oh well. Possibly the uh, mod author stuck some unmowable bits of grass in here. That could be. Anyway, we'll uh, see if we can read some uh, comments here. Oh, getting some lag spikes there.
A little annoying with the camera there going up the hill. Uh, Johnny was saying thanks for changing the map. Yep, he was the one of the ones I know having issues there with the uh, Iowa map. Plus, uh, he was complaining about some of the other glitchy issues. Uh, Ford 7000 said the same thing. Uh, I think he said he was getting 5 FPS there. Yeah, 5 FPS on the Northeast Iowa map. And, you know, it was another one of those strange things where uh, the map ran good for some people and some people it didn't. So, kind of like the uh, Great Lakes logging map there. Some people worked fine. Other people uh, did not work so well for. So, anyway. Uh, Dave was saying there, on the northeast Iowa map there, uh, episode 2 and also the final episode, uh, the GPS lines are turned off. Uh, when you use F5, you end up uh, turning the lines off on the GPS. Uh, something I actually never thought to check. So that is why the GPS mod was not working on the Northeast Iowa map there that episode. Uh, they were hidden. And yeah, because uh, pressing F5 there to uh, try to look for trigger points and stuff like that. Uh, apparently that must be the same key that turns the lines off the GPS mod. Uh, not something I actually knew, but uh, anyway. Uh, Kyle's joining us. You know, funny Kyle's joining us. I actually got a comment from Kyle. He was uh, sent me a link to a John Deere Model A. Wanted me to check out. I know typically I cut the sinks out of the uh, video here, but I'll probably just leave that one in. So far, this has been a fairly quickly sinking map. Or as a couple people call it, sink simulator sometimes. Uh, Terry was suggesting we should uh, maybe sell some of the starter fields here. And then you can uh, work up to more fields and larger equipment. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's an issue. I didn't actually notice that when you start this map, but you actually do start with quite a few fields and quite a few large fields as well. But like I said, it doesn't seem to really be an issue affecting us. It's uh, if, if we're going to use those larger fields, it's going to take us a while to... Uh, you know, either cultivate them, plant them, whatever. Uh, plus, it did help slow us down. I don't know if help is the right word here, but it did slow us down in the fact that, like, a bunch of the fields withered. So that really uh, that really slowed things down. Otherwise, you know, we've been harvested 15, 17, 9, 1, 36, 33, 30, 45. You know, harvest all those fields, that would have definitely added up to some uh, grain and some more money. But yeah, because they withered, uh, we can't harvest those fields now, so we'd actually have to replant them. Uh, Mark was saying, yay, I could get on. Uh, yeah, I believe he was another one of the individuals having troubles with the northeast Iowa map there. Uh-oh, never good when you see it getting mowed in front of your mower. Yeah, it's uh, snowing pretty good outside, so it's probably affecting my internet slightly. Yeah, they say it's not supposed to get affected by uh, weather, but uh, it definitely does a little bit. Not bad, but it definitely does get affected a little bit. Ah, uh, my biz... I'm assuming he means business. Uh, teacher died yesterday morning of a heart attack. Wow. That's not good. Uh, 
Uh, Mark was also suggesting put the placeable heap mod in. Uh, now that we are on this map, I don't think we really need that. Uh, for Northeast Iowa, that might have been uh, a good idea. Uh, Jacob was asking on my American Truck Simulator video, can you get a new truck? Oh, come on, we haven't even had the W900 that long, and you want another new truck? Uh, yes, we'll, we'll definitely get a new truck, but the, uh, the hired worker will probably be driving it. And I plan on driving the W900 for a little while yet. Uh, principal. <laughs> oh, I gotta love the, uh, the uh, chat there. How it uh, blanks things out. Oh boy, and I just noticed, looks like we're going to need some fuel on this tractor here pretty quick. I think I'm actually catching up, or actually getting ahead of Harvey here. And also, now that we're on a farming map again, it is nice to be playing with the uh, good old farming simulator steering wheel here again. I know for the uh, logging series there, I didn't play with it a whole lot. I did uh, try it a couple times, but uh, just because most of the modded vehicles didn't work real well with it, I kind of set it off to the side and played with the keyboard mostly. I want to say one thing here. When I say it doesn't work, it doesn't mean you couldn't make it work. It probably just means I need to actually get into the controls and actually configure everything. And, yeah, I didn't feel like being that, uh, doing that much work to uh, get it to work, so. Okay, let's uh, see what's happening. Should we be done here? Fold it up. Okay, there we go. And we better find a refuel spot here before we run out. I'm going to assume there's probably one at the biogas plant here. Actually, this is actually not the biogas plant. Well, sort of the biogas plant here. Just got to make sure I go in the right gate here. That would probably help. Unless there's fuel out the other place here, too, that could be. I believe that's the animal selling auction place. I don't, does it say on the map? Uh, it just says pigs of beef. Yeah, I believe that's the auction place there for that. At the farm. I gotta drive all the way to the farm? <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know if the tractor will make it that far. Oh, well, uh, let's find out here, I guess. Uh, check. There isn't a closer spot, is there?
Oh, follow him then. Okay. Uh, is he going that way? Yay, back through the forest and long, winding... That's true, we could do that. Oh, let's see what's which one's faster here. The Massey or the... John Deere. I think John Deere's winning a little bit. Oh, this seems a bit unfortunate here. <laughs> okay. Might have a tight fit. Oh, and a height problem, maybe? Oh, just barely. Okay, to the farm. And hopefully somewhat quickly. Nobody saw that. Ah, you didn't see nothing. Ah, uh, we got... Uh, <laughs> Hey, fuel. Okay, and then we didn't run out. Yay. Anyway, folks, I think we better uh, wrap up the episode there. Uh, just remember, if you want to join us on the multiplayer server here, uh, download links are in the description below, as well as the uh, information for the TeamSpeak server. And if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below.